I'm going to go over the title of the course. There are three parts to the title of the course. The first part is introduction to, meaning that if you don't have any foundation in statistics, that's okay, because by the end of the course, you should have a good base of statistics. The second word is psychological, meaning related to psychology. Psychology is a science. It is the science of the human brain and human behavior. So anything related to people. The last and final word, and the most important one, is statistics. In statistics, we can do two things. The first thing is describe data. And we can do this either numerically with numbers. So say the average of something is three, or we can do this graphically with say either bar charts or pie charts like this one. The biggest thing though that we're gonna do in statistics is make inferences. So say we have this large population of people, say everyone in the United States, but we don't have the time or money to survey everyone in the United States. So we select a random sample of people and we use statistics to help us make decisions about this whole population, the whole population of the United States based on this small sample. And we use statistics to do this. Well, statistics is everywhere, including in the social sciences like psychology, like in health psychology or cross-cultural psychology. And we see statistics in the hard sciences, including chemistry or medicine. We see statistics in business and finance. There are real world applications of statistics. Maybe you want to be a scientist like me. And this is you, being a nerdy scientist. Okay, okay, maybe you don't want to be a scientist. Maybe you want to have an office job. But guess what? Those Excel skills you're learning in this class, they'll come in a lot of use at that office job. But statistics can also help you and your family make decisions. You can use statistics to decide if you should go out and play today by looking at the weather statistics. But you can also use statistics to make more serious decisions about you and your family, like what medical procedures you should use. Say you're searching the web for some statistics to help you make a decision, and you see things like nine out of 10 dentists, or scientists say, or over 60% of voters. And you're like, should I just take the face value of the statistics? No, you should be an intelligent consumer and you need to ask these really critical questions of the statistics you see. Like, what did they ask? Who did they survey? And what statistics did they conduct? Let's recap about why you should take this course other than you probably have to. Statistics is everywhere. It's particularly in the sciences, including psychology. Statistics may help you at your job. Statistics can help you make decisions in your personal life. And you should be an intelligent consumer of statistics and critically think about statistics you hear.